Team Tadpole. Belly? Belly. Heather. Kate. Lucy. Lucia. We're, We're taking part in citizen science. It's a very good pause. We put them into the water. We'll make a kind of figure of eight shape. And we'll lift them out. Today, when we were doing our survey of Braidwood Pond, we were looking in the water to see if we could find any beasties. We found some alderfly larvae, some mayfly larvae, some water beetles and larvae, some water bugs, some pond skaters, some water slaters, and some one like animals. Before we started, the countryside rangers showed us what kind of beasts we could find and how to pick them up and look at them without hurting them. We used the net to make a figure of eight. After we had picked up the samples with our net, we put them in a tray and examined them with a magnifying glass. Watch out! We hadn't expected to find so many little creepy crawlies like the mayfly larvae. It means that the water is good quality. When we were finding all these different beasts, we had to do a points chart on it. Right, everyone, we're going to be coming round with your clipboards and your survey forms. Each group will get one. Whoa. So if it was the thing was more rare, then it would be worth ten points. If it was quite common, it'd be five. And if it was just not very good, it'd be one. If the scores between six and thirty, this means that the pond or lake is quite healthy. This is a back swimmer. It was the biggest thing that we found in the pond and it's worth five points. We found two of these and they were in the mossy area of the pond. We then filled out all our results into our chart. Then we will be taking it back to the class and filling in our national survey. We have seen Mayflies. Alex, Lucy, Charlotte. We are putting our water survey results into the computer. We're putting the information into a national water survey and that lets scientists know what's happening all around the country. Our results showed that our pond, Braidwood Pond, has good water quality and doesn't have much pollution on it. A lower primary did it on water, other primaries did surveys on their local area. All the survey results from other schools will build up a big picture such as air quality, water quality, wildlife and the acrylic area. We're using the information we found while going to the park as inspiration for our artwork. As we saw dragonflies and mayflies, we're using them as inspiration for our sculptures. I was really excited to get involved in this project. It's all the sort of things that I love to do as a visual artist, uh, recycling and bugs and nature and things like that. First session with each school, I've asked them a little bit about what they did with the rangers and what they were doing out and about, looking at trees and plants and nature and the sort of insects that they found when they were outside. Some of the dragonflies on the board, some were really bright pink uh, colours and some were blue, some were green. So that's what we're aiming for. In our first week we learned to um, identify bugs and mini beasts and we did symmetry drawing. Next we built some small miniature dragonflies. You could see the head, the eyes, the feet, the wings and the abdomen. We've been doing a variety of different things including um, two-dimensional artworks, small models that they built themselves and then building onto sort of team projects where they're learning about how to build a large-scale sculpture as part of a group. That's quite challenging for some of the young people, so it's been really interesting just to set that up bit by bit, doing a small project at a time and setting them tasks that help them gain the skills to work together, support each other and also the building uh, skills necessary to use things like willow and wire and, and materials that perhaps they've never used before. Today we've been doing um, dragonflies, but they're larger than the other ones. We're starting with the body with these yogurt tubs, then we're building our way up. When I told the children that their artwork would be going into an exhibition, they seemed quite sort of surprised by that and quite excited. So they've all been quite impressed with what they've made at the end of it, and I think they'll enjoy sharing that with everyone else. The Curlic Creepy Crawlies project was a partnership project between the Clydenhaven Valley Landscape Partnership, South Lanarkshire Council Ranger Service and Impact Arts. It was a wonderful project that married together the arts and science, giving pupils from the Curlic learning community the opportunity to go into their local area, survey their local wildlife and create giant sculptural artworks 
based on the survey they worked. The teachers have been enthusiastic about the fact that they had access to professionals through the Countryside Ranger Service to help with the sciencey part and also through professional artists to do the, the, the development work in the classroom. The pupils have, have had a ball during the whole process, getting access to different materials, different techniques they've learned and everything has just come together really well to culminate in the wonderful creatures you see before us.